Hello everyone, welcome back. In the previous video, we had a look into the basic understanding of how the EUTXO model works. If you're just joining us, I suggest you watch that before continuing on with this video, as it provides some important theory and understanding of how we actually approach building a transaction on the Cardano CLI. Um, in this video, we'll be installing our tools and setting everything up. So we don't need much when it comes to downloading stuff. We'll be only pulling down the Daedalus testnet, or if you're optional and extra like me, you can pull down the Visual Studio Code IDE and work from there as it's just a lot more efficient on me and it keeps everything all in one place. I've also included a PDF guide which has all the steps and commands and materials needed throughout this tutorial. So I suggest you pull that down. Links are in the description. And without any further ado, let's get this party started. Cool. Now it's on to um, installing Daedalus. So let's go right ahead and install it. You'll be brought to this website. I checked the link in the description to install the Daedalus package, depending on what operating system you're using. And the reason why we're using the Daedalus testnet is to basically say, well, I don't want to use my real ADA and put anything at risk. And especially if you're new to this side of actually building transactions through the CLI and doing all that kind of stuff in behind the under the hood, so to speak, the last thing you need to do is basically screw up a transaction or do you do something wrong uh, when it comes to doing the real world ADA on the mainnet. So I kind of want to use this in a safer sort of environment on the test net so that we don't actually put anything at risk and it's okay to make mistakes. Um, yeah, so I just want to put that out there. And also it's very important for when you download your package that you do a check. Um, you can do a SHA-25 check or you can do a PGP check with a, a GPG check. So it's important that you um, pull down the GPG tools and I, cause I actually recommend doing it this way rather than through a SHA-256, but this one's the quickest one. This one's a little bit more step heavy, um, but it's pretty straightforward stuff. Just download your installer for your operating system, get the packages and run through these steps here, and then go ahead and open up Daedalus like I have done here. Now, if this is your first time installing Daedalus, you're probably gonna to have to wait for about 30 to 40 minutes for it to actually properly sync up. But within that time, you can actually set up a wallet. Um, go ahead, name it, name it whatever you want. Um, in this case, I've named it my Jack Shelley testnet. And I've already sent some testnet ADA. So once, if, once it's already all synced up, we can go ahead and click on the receive button as I just wanna get this step out of the way before we start doing anything else. Uh, copy any one of these addresses, jump down into tools and then go into the faucet and then copy the pasted, uh, the, paste the copied address that we got from our data list um, application go through the recache and request the funds and then within about 30 seconds, a minute, two minutes, depending how long it takes, you should have some ADA that shows up in your wallet and you're ready to go. Uh, yeah, so once you've done that, it's just a matter of jumping into Visual Studio Code like I have and opening up a brand new PowerShell. And the reason why I use Power, uh, Visual Studio Code is because it just keeps everything all in one place. I, I, just, I just also have to work in Visual Studio Code um, it's just a common IDE that everyone else uses. But in reality, you really don't need to use it for this uh, tutorial video. So you can really just open up PowerShell here and work from here. Um, or you can, or for Mac users, I think it's terminal. Um, yeah, so give or take which operating system again, you can um, retrospectively just work through that. But for this case and for everything that we're doing, I suggest get Visual Studio Code. It's just a lot easier in my opinion. All right, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and set up our alias. Now, one of the great things of downloading Daedalus is that I found out is that it comes with all the tools and everything necessary for us to work from so that it actually saves us the hassle of actually having to, you know, work things out or find or do things again. And it just, it just cuts down a lot of time. Um, so the benefit of the doubt, we get to both use Daedalus and the tools that it's coming with, such as the Cardano CLI, which stands for the or Cardano, the Cardano command line interface. Um, yeah, so we basically would just wanna grab this um, line here that should be in the document that I provided and paste it into the shell. 
press enter and that's basically linking up to the Cardano CLI that should hopefully if you've installed it in the default location if you haven't then you're going to have to change this otherwise it's going to barf at you um, as it's just linking to the tool that we have and giving it a new name so once you've done that then we can go ahead and set up our environment variables and press enter now environment variables in well both in terminal or uh, PowerShell is just a really efficient way of storing things in like a box you can throw things into and pass them around um, so it's quite nice to use that kind of stuff as it's less clutter so to speak from when we actually go to do anything and just compresses things down to make them look a lot more cleaner you don't have to use them again you entirely it's totally up to you but i just prefer using environment variables and again for the purpose of this tutorial i suggest you use environment variables as in my opinion they just look a lot a little bit more cleaner and that's just how i use them um yeah so let's go and build another environment variable for the magic id which is a unique number for specific to the testnet i believe uh yeah so this number again should be in our PDF document, which I'm pulling through on my second screen, and just pressing enter. Sweet. Okay, now that all the easy sort of linkage is all set up and ready to go, let's go and CD into another folder and generate our key pairs and our public address. So I'm gonna CD into uh, the downloads folder simple and I'm going to run the command make directory for mkdir and name it whatever I want I'm going to call it cardano tut come camel case and you can see we've created a new folder called cardano tut I'm also going to cd into cardano tut and voila lo and behold we're in our folder just like that now we can run our cardano command which basically oh Oh boy, what have I done? Sorry, I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna do the old double tap, control C, and paste this command here, which basically says, run the Cardano CLI, which is the alias that we set up, and run this command that generates a verification file and a payment file for a signing key. As we need these two specific files to basically, um, sign and verify the uh, <laughs> transaction that we eventually build to say that it actually came from us. So go ahead and run this command. And if we go to LS, LS list into the, in this case, into the folder that we're basically in at the moment, we can see that it's generated two keys, one being our V key and one being our S key. And just like that, it's just a matter of then building our address which uh, we're going to need to be able to send some data to. So I'm going to run this next command, Cardano address bill payment verification key file and give us an out file of address by hashing our verification key. And lo and behold, we have a payment.addr file. And if I cat into this, payment dot, oh, sorry, pay, payment dot addr, you can see that we have a public address and now I can basically just go ahead and send some ADA. So I'm going to say send 10 ADA or I actually need to grab my password from this. So I'll speed up this part. Cool. And now hopefully by this point, you're just going to have to wait for the transaction. It should be processed. And we can actually run this um, really just simple command if you've done this all correctly. Uh, which basically is just peering into our address to see if we have any unspent outputs. If you remember from our UTXO video, uh, UTXO meaning unspent transaction outputs, which map to inputs, which then eventually map to outputs. In the case we have nothing. Um, so again, we just have to wait for the ADA to be sent, uh, which should take any time now. Come on. There we go. Sweet. Awesome. And as you can see, the ADA we just sent has now appeared in our wallet-ish thing, kind of. You can see it's 10 million uplace, and we have a transaction index of zero, and the input or output hash um, re representing our unspent output. 
Cool. Now that's all that we were going to go through today. And then in the next video, we'll be taking this input and then sending it back to our dataless wallet. Um, yeah, so I'll see you there.